January. This year we were going to open a mission school in the Philippines. Mission school we're going to open next year and supposed to be we want to see a dozen of missionaries to be sent in Asia or in Southeast Asia. We want many Filipinos from our church to be a missionary because this is the heartbeat of God. This is, this is our heartbeat, you know, to see many people change, to see many people become born again. So we're really excited to open a Bible school, a mission school in the Philippines. Lighthouse. Tom is a lighthouse. He's clearing all the weeds here. Almost two hours na kami go work, but we enjoy it. Iba na dun sa taas sila Paolo nag paint ng mga room. Iba naglilinis ng mga CR, mga kwarto. So, we're really busy this morning and whole day. Tomorrow, secret. This trip is, is really very special for me. We led worship in the, in the International Church. I led worship uh, abroad, so that's a breakthrough. We went to Padia and um, prayed prayer walk, that did prayer walk. Dito tayo ngayon sa Pachatata. Dito ang pinatawag na Sex Capital City Manila. So ang gagawin natin ngayon ay magdadasal lang. Ayos ako tumingin sa paligid. Makikita mo lahat, maraming ba ang ibibiyan ka ng laman. Kagagaling lang namin doon sa, dito sa Pacha sa red light district nila and talagang na-feel namin yung burden kung paano dapat ma-reach out ng mga lugar na mga taong ito. Sabi ni Ronald, may mga churches daw dito pero napaka-konti lang ang kaya nilang gawin dahil maraming sindikato nag-work behind the scenes syempre dahil uh, malaking uh, organisasyon ito. So talagang kailangan natin ipag-pray sila. Itong lugar na ito kailangan ma-iritin. Although lulong sila sa kasalanan, sabi sa Bible na every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. And one day it will come. Narating talaga yung panahong yun. At pakikita natin na talagang kikilo si Lord. And we will see miracles dito sa lugar na to. So let's pray for people like this. Let's pray for places like this. This is about time para ma makita nila hindi lang yun, hindi yung judgment ni God. Hindi makita nila yun, yung love ni God sa kanilang buhay. This Pacha experience really is something memorable sa bawat membro ng team na pumunta dito sa Thailand. Then, comes Tuesday, we went straight to Cambodia. And dito namin sa Cambodia, sobrang init. Saka mabaho. <laughs> yeah, it was really hot. Pastor Joel met us actually at the border. And it was really awesome. It was really nice. First thing that, that really I saw there in Cambodia is the place is uh, very dry. It's very, like, there's, it's dusty. And We went straight ahead to one of the villages there. And during our travel, our team leader, Pastor Ronald, um, asked me to preach, to share the gospel to that crowd. I was so hesitant because I never thought of preaching uh, the Word of God in a crowd in that place because we had three pastors with us. So I was expecting that they were the ones who will preach during the activities or during the uh, Bible studies that we planned. So, I, I, at first I said no to Ronald, but um, I had to obey him because it was part of the training. I'm so excited. Give me that. Give me that. 
Give me that Lord of all the earth would care to know my name, would care to feel my hurt. Who am I that the bright and morning star would choose to light the way for my ever wandering heart? What's well, really hard or more difficult is to share the gospel with them when, when they haven't really heard about Jesus Christ and, and, and all that. I was able to minister, talk to, to some youth, um, around three, four guys and a, and a girl. The girl was actually the only one who can understand and speak English, so it was, at least there was someone who can understand, it was really good. We were able to pray for them, we were able to, to, to like, share Christ as well share what Jesus Christ did for them. It was really good. We had a great time. We, we danced and had drama there. And uh, people came and watched. And then after that, um, somebody shared the gospel. And I, th I think there were like three young people who came to know Christ then there in that place. So that was awesome. So um, in short, I preached. And um, there were so many children there, adults also. and. Um, many of them um, actually received Christ. And the next day, we broke up into groups. One group went to the AIDS clinic. We're going to this yeah. village, mga 30 minute ride. It, yung isang grupo naman, pupunta ngayon sa HIV uh, clinic. clinic. No, hindi siya hospital clinic, clinic siya. Clinic. And uh, they'll do uh, ministering time. They have some interpreters as well uh, to help them in prayers. I went with Pastor Tinette. Uh, we went to the uh, AIDS like place where they like the AIDS people are there. So we ministered, we prayed for for the for the people. They were all like smiling, and it was so great um, when we saw them. There are seven people lying down on their bed, and we feel we felt that time that um, they they want to 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 die <laughs> that time because um, they have no hope and. At that time, we share the love of God and we give them encouraged word that, that there is a hope from God. As for our team, we went straight to a house church. It was like in the middle of nowhere. It was like, but it's really encouraging to know that even in, in that place, um, Pastor Joel has um, a church attender there and she's really on fire for God and she actually hosted us. We were able to minister to, to a small group of people. We, we worshiped with them. We, we heard the gospel, we shared the gospel with them through preaching and it was really a good, a good um, experience. We went to the villages and we gave, up, we gave some relief goods. We, uh, we brought with us some blankets, some uh, uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, shampoo, soap and we went to the slums. And we just right there and then shared the gospel with them gave some, some relief goods, so some, some grocery items to them, and they were really, really appreciative of, of what we did. It was really a nice experience. What's really nice about that um, Cambodia, or that particular experience in that place, was that we were able to minister to, to sick people. We were able to pray for them and praise God, two of them, got instantly healed. They were healed by God and they were so happy about it.